Hi everybody, this is Celtic Web Solutions from XDA. Um, as promised, a little video update. Sorry it's a little bit late. Um, got a bit sidetracked during the day. Um, as you can see, it's uh, quarter to one in the morning here now. Um, got a few hours to go yet. Um, basically, um, I, we just wanted to give you an update on our development of the Cyanogen Mod 7 ROM for the Nook tablet. Um, in our previous video, we showed you that pretty much everything was now working. Um, but the problem we were having was, uh, no matter what we did, we'd recompiled and reconfigured drivers, but we couldn't get the Wi-Fi to correctly work. We'd got as far as getting the Wi-Fi drivers to load. Um, we could enable the Wi-Fi, but we couldn't get it to scan, and therefore connect to any networks. Um, after some pretty long days and extremely long nights, uh, we eventually discovered that, uh, or what I say discovered, we eventually came to the conclusion that uh, no matter what we did with these drivers, they just weren't going to work. Um, so we had to sort of sit back and uh, try and work out what we were going to do from there. Um, we got to the point that uh, you begin to think that there's nothing else you can do. And then obviously at the last minute, um, uh, Gonchazilla decided to um, uh, recompile the drivers with what was basically completely the wrong settings. Um, it was a bit of a gamble, um, but luckily for us, Conscious gamble paid off. If I now go into Wi Fi settings and enable Wi Fi, as soon as Wi Fi comes on, there you go, you can see some networks have appeared. It says obtaining, there we are, it's connected already. Um, now, obviously, because we've got Wi Fi, we've got access to the market. Something that I'm sure people will be very pleased to hear is that we have full access to the market. So obviously if you want to find yourself Facebook, which I've seen a lot of people ask for, you just search for it and there's no more side loading. Um, you know, and hoping that it works and having an out-of-date version, you just go into the market and get the current version. Install it. There you go, downloading. <coughs> Installing. and more importantly, working. Actually, while we're in the market, something else that you can do on this version of the ROM, which you just couldn't do on the Barnes & Noble, well, I say, say you couldn't do, you couldn't do it very easily, is uh, change your keyboard. Um, so if you wanted to install, say, Go Keyboard, you can just install it. And that's it, you just install it. Um, I did a, a write a, a little tutorial for installing third-party keyboards on the standard ROM, um, which, which did work. Uh, most keyboards could be installed like that, um, but it was quite long-winded, and you know, some people did, did have problems with it. Um, so there you go, it's installed Go Keyboard, just to prove that it's installed it. We can go and choose the keyboard, as you can see it just comes up, there it is, select the input method, job done, switch over to the keyboard, so we'll just switch over to go keyboard there, obviously you can select various settings but we don't need to worry about that, there you go, next, obviously this is just the uh, setup of Go Keyboard. And as you can see, there's a different keyboard. If I turn it around there. Obviously it all works fine. So that's Go Keyboard. Um, just about any keyboard should work. Um, as far as the market is concerned, uh, you should have the vast majority of apps available to you. Um, I can't promise that everything is in there, but most things will be there. Another little thing that didn't used to work on the old ROM is if we go into Google Maps. <laughs> there we are. It's, it did it straight away. Um, you can see my location. Tap to improve. Oh, we don't need any of that. But uh, it is actually telling me pretty much exactly where I am. Obviously it's doing that through the Wi-Fi, it hasn't got GPS, but it just didn't used to work at all in the uh, previous ROM. 
and that's about it. Um, basically now we've got uh, a couple of small things left and one major one. Um, the major one being that uh, unfortunately if the tablet goes to sleep you can't wake it up. So until we can get that fixed, I'm sorry you're all going to have to be a little bit more patient. Um, but once we have got the screen of death issue fixed, uh, I dare say we'll be very quickly releasing um, an alpha version for everybody to uh, have a little play with. Um, and then we'll uh, keep working on it until it's perfect. Uh, hopefully it won't be too long. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, see you soon.